Okay, so um, just as a reminder, we're going to do our sweat and sweets um, group starting on Monday. It will be free. So you can invite whoever to it because it, it won't be any cost, which is nice because it kind of takes the pressure off to to ask and those people that are like, oh, I just kind of want a taste of what's going on and the change is good. So the plan is that we will get them hooked up with Beachbody On Demand and then we'll post like a workout every morning with some motivation and then we're gonna post two like healthier sweet options. Um, most of mine are stuff that you can make with like, um, like energy balls or like banana ice cream or just things like that. Some healthier brownie options. And, you know, everybody needs those non-sugar sweets in there. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to, that's my plan is to just do that. And then we're going to go live in there at least once a day because I feel like otherwise a lot of people just don't end up seeing I've noticed like a lot of people will show up like the last day of the group and be like, how did I miss everything? So yeah. we're going to try and go live um, once a day, probably just to like check in a couple questions so that they participate and that we can kind of grow that relationship and see where we can fill in the gaps of whatever they're needing. Cause whenever they come to us with something, they're missing something somewhere. So just so that I can help you guys build relationships and I can build relationships and we can see where we can help people out at. Um, I think, I don't know, if you guys caught the call today, he was talking a lot about that, how like yesterday with the Super Bowl is when everybody kind of drops the ball. And I was like, I didn't even think about that. That's so, so true. Because you just, you're a month in and you're, I don't know. Just that's it's totally what happens. But so I think that's important to just kind of talk today. I probably will talk to a lot of people today just about how um like okay. I probably will will kind of try and make a post about this, how I think that um we kind of forget how much food really like affects us and how much just like zoning into the T V and ignoring our other problems because it feels it feels better <laughs> to just chill and eat and ignore stuff and then you deal with the consequences the next day when you feel like crap and you don't know how to fix it. So I, don't know. I just think it would be important to kind of focus on that all nutrition options and and some help with exercise. I do feel like we have some really good starter programs for people who just need something like they just need a way to move and don't don't know where to start so i'm actually really excited for this group because i really think that it will get us some traction and that we'll be able to help a lot of people with it so whether they continue with us or not so i'm excited about that um I have a group, a new group starting today. I haven't heard from anyone else about whether they have people to join. So I'm going to try and push it um, today and possibly tomorrow to get some more people in there. I have a lot of iffy people right now. And um, see it, if I can make it a group big enough to start on its own. I, if anyone else has people, for sure, let me know. Um, I I just want it to be a big enough group where they'll feel like they have people to talk to and relate to so that they're not in there alone. If I can't get enough people, then I'll probably just put them in the other group for now and then um, hopefully get enough to start a second one either next time or the time after that. So but that's two going. Let's roll. With. Um, I noticed for me, I feel like the biggest thing is helped with this business. And I obviously, I'm not a super great person. I haven't noticed at all. But I just feel like it's consistency. Like, 
I am just trying and failing and moving forward. Like, if we need to switch things, we'll switch things. I'm not perfect yet. We're just, I don't think I'll ever be perfect, but progress. And I feel like if you just, like, I have bad days like everyone else, and then I'm like, well, I'm just going to try again tomorrow. Like, there's nothing I can do about it. So that's, that's really what all it is. is just the, the more that you keep showing up and you keep showing people that you're showing up, regardless of how you feel, the more people are going to come to you and be like, okay, well, she's consistent and she's trying and she's human. Like, she fails. You can go to her because she gets it. So that's really all that's worked for me. Like, I've had a few people come to start coaching just this past week, probably week and a half, past couple weeks, that, like, have been watching me for, like, a year at this point. And I have talked to them a few times and figured they would go anywhere, and all of a sudden they want to coach. So I don't know. You just don't know. Sometimes i watching you for a long time. I, I read, um, what book is that? I'll have to think about it. But, um, oh, I think it's the, the one where she talks about posture, where she says you fake it till you become it. And I'm like, that's just got to be my mindset and my goal for this year because I just have to Let's play up here cause it's fake that I um, am where I want to be or that I can be who I want to be, even if I don't like it, until it just happens because... So that's how, how it goes. Um, and I saw you got a new coach just like a week ago. Is it a week ago? Yes, discount coach. That's awesome. Just one though. of my challengers. One of my challengers, yeah. And I have another girl that's joining my challenge group that is considering coaching. So, like, she's kind of like one of those long-term investigators that we've had a lot of good conversations. and. She just needs to – she's done a challenge group before with someone else. And anyway, she's awesome. So hopefully this group will help her move forward. But she, just along the same lines of consistency and stuff, she messaged me after I posted my burpees video of my less than perfect burpees. And she's like, thank you so much for posting that. It helps me see that I don't have to be perfect and, like, yeah, at, at everything. Like, that was one of the best posts that I've done in – forever but anyway so that was really good for her so I'm hoping that she'll move forward and my my lead that I got that joined my challenge group that I told you about last week she's awesome so we'll see what happens with her Those I'll give her a little bit longer and then invite her so I've got some good people right now yeah those both sound awesome I feel like those are the best coaches though the ones that really want to know what's up before they jump in and they really can make their own journey and those are always the best coaches yeah i mean i think about myself and i thought about it for like a long time and or a few months and did a ton of research and then when i was ready to jump in i was ready to go so right and you're awesome <laughs> so it's freezing here oh i'm sorry my kids wanted to play outside <laughs> it's so cold and it's rainy, oh. so hopefully it won't last for long. I am a baby when it comes to Oh, I am life. too. Come back, you guys. Come inside. It's raining. Come in the gazebo. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to try and get a couple new challengers to, to get in there to, to make that second group. Honestly, I feel like the biggest thing is just to be honest. It's not to like chase people down and be like, you need this in your life. It's like the... The most successful days I've had are when I've just been like, this is why I need this, and this is what it's done for me, and talking about how I struggle and I'm not perfect, and when I, I feel like when I'm vulnerable and I talk about how I'm not perfect and why I do it, that's when more people will jump on board. And I don't say that just to like recruit people, I just feel like we, we have something to give people that is like it's a life changer it's not like I'm giving you some I don't know some clothes and some makeup or something like if this is a new lifestyle for you this is something that will hopefully if I'm doing my job right give you tools to make your entire life successful and 
help you to see different aspects of your life because that's what it does for me because I'm like the most anxious person ever and I do stupid things because of my anxiety and being able to like even see that that's stupid while I'm in the situation is a big deal for me like being able to to recognize those things and I don't feel like I'd be able to do that if I didn't read what I read and make time to do the things that I need to do to think clearly and and remember that food really affects how we think and how our body reacts. I've noticed that a lot lately. The food. Um, oh look, Amanda's on. Hi, Amanda. Okay, so those are the biggest things. Our food group starting next Monday, and then our group, our group group that's starting today. Um, if you guys have people to get in there, I need to know about it. Um, anyone struggling with anything else or have questions? Like, where do you guys feel like you're getting stuck? Sorry, I had to disconnect for a minute to go around my kids back up. Maggie, oh, go shut the gate. That's, that's how it goes, right? <laughs> my phone wouldn't last if I ran. Maggie, just go shut the gate. Sorry. Um, will you just repeat the question? I just wanted to know if there's anything where you guys are feeling like you're getting stuck. Like for me, my biggest challenge is the transition from um, just like finding the area to invite. Like I'm very good at making connection and creating a friendship or whatever, but transitioning to inviting and then back to whatever, regardless of how they feel is tricky for me. So I'm working on that right now. But I mean, I, I want to know what you guys are struggling with. If there's something I can help you with, if there's something I can point you in the right direction with. Um, and um, just being consistent with posting and inviting like that. Like I said, that's the biggest thing. My things right now, inviting to, and I've been forcing myself, like I started getting up at 5.30 and getting my power hour done after my workout before my kids are crazy. <laughs> and I've been forcing myself to do way more consistent inviting. I love that video that Jaylynn did about inviting more and her, did you watch that in the Diamond Dash? I just connected with that and I'm like, I need to step that up. And so. I've been just forcing myself to do it and it gets, it's getting easier and having something to invite to. So I kind of have my month scheduled out. So that helps. And then, okay, just a minute. And then I always have a hard time on the weekends. So I, I do my power hours and get my posts all consistently. And then I feel like on the weekends, like what do you, do you just, do you schedule your posts out for the weekends or do you, like I want to disconnect a little bit too, but I feel like, they keep saying post on Sunday nights and stuff. And Sunday, I want to be like totally disconnected. How, do you, how are you? Let's go inside. So how am I doing that? I, yeah. So I'm not the best at it, but the things that have worked for me and I need, I need, I, like I said, I have work to do, but I'm with you. I, Sunday, I want to be disconnected as much as possible just because just like, I don't know. It's like a sanity saver to have one day where you're just like, no. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I do struggle with that. And I feel like there are a lot of coaches that don't come club, but for me, I think that's necessary. So I am trying to just pre-post, like pre-schedule out just two posts. One, just some kind of Sunday motivational. And the second is the business opportunity because that's what they said to do. So I'm trying to just pre-schedule those for Sunday. Okay. Um, hasn't always worked out. Sometimes I panic and have to throw something together last second. But um, as far as Saturday goes, I feel like I what works best for me because I'm not as organized as I'd like to be yet is I just like pick like an hour and I'm like, okay, you have to knock everything out right now and then be done and focus on family time. So I don't spend as much time as I do during the week on it, but I just 
say what is going to be most important that I get done today. Here's an hour of time to get it done and then go. Yeah. Okay. That That's works. That's kind of what I'm trying to do. Because I, because I love connecting with people, you know, and people to post, talk on their posts and stuff. But I feel like when it comes to Saturday, I don't have time to do that. Yeah. You know, I'll get lost there. So it's like focus on what's going to be most important. And then if I have 10 extra minutes, I can do that for a little bit. Okay. That's good. Okay. That's helpful. Oh. All right. Amanda, do you have any questions? Do I see any questions? You guys both doing good? Okay. All right. For now, then, I will just close it. Remember, the free group, I will try and post, like, a thread so we can share some of the treats that we're going to share. Maybe some pictures too, so you guys can kind of have some stuff to advertise it for free. And we can talk about um, different ways we can make that valuable for everybody that's going to be in there. Because the more valuable our free groups are, the, the more valuable, you know, the more people will draw in and the more we'll be able to help people. So I'll try and get it. Question. Yeah. Do you have all the treats or do you need more recipes? Do you need help I'm, with I'm that or are you already done that? Um, I have a bunch, but I haven't tried them all, so I'm still trying a couple different ones just because I want to make sure that they're ones that I would actually like, you know, before I pass them on. So I do have, I have, oh, I think three or four that I for sure am going to use. And then I know has two or three that she um, personally uses that she was going to give. We also knew that there was one on her. That we were gonna try out. There's an actual. She made like a sweets peanut butter something one, and I was gonna maybe try some from her cookbook too to share. So so basically, I just have some that I want to share. If you have some that you already know are good and you love them, feel free to send them our way because we're just still kind of experimenting with what we've got. But okay that sounds good i have a couple things i want to try too so if i i'll try them out today or tomorrow and if i if they actually are good then i'll send them your way because you can't always tell from the recipe i know you think you can but you can't i know i know usually they're not bad but some of them i'm like okay i would only eat this if i was like really really desperate so it's probably not going to attract people not not going to be the best yeah exactly Okay. Perfect. That sounds good. Hey, I'm excited. We will get that going. And yeah, if you guys get anyone else for this group, I'm going to give you today and tomorrow to grab some more people to get in there. If not, then I will just go with it. There. But okay, have a good week. Talk to you guys later. Okay. See ya. Bye.